Hello, so we are back. What a bit of feedback on the last video. Definitely was not expecting um, all the views and all the comments and stuff. So thank you very much if you watched it. Um, and if you did watch it, I'm sure you're probably thinking, when on earth was I ever actually going to tell you the crack? So we had quite, um, quite a good laugh actually reading through some of the comments um, about you know what do you think it was what do you think the change is um, there was a few right answers there were a few uh, people thinking that we had traded on the masses for fleet of deers um, there was uh, the suggestion of a fourth harvester which absolutely not no no um, there was the suggestion of a Volvo shovel. Um, what else was there? Um, just other bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you, we have made a change in the harvester department. So the people who were thinking that we have changed one of our harvesters, they are right. So. We had opted to trade in um, our 630 uh, for an 880. As I said in the last video, it was a very bittersweet change for us because um, if you've been following us for a while, the 630 that we bought was the very first brand new harvester that Kelmbros ever bought. Um, and what a harvester she was. Um, I think if you ever needed an advertisement for Crone, she was it. You know, she never skipped a beat. She was definitely, whoever, whoever um, gets her now, they're getting a fantastic, fantastic harvester. Yeah, so it was just really bittersweet because whenever you buy something new for the first time, um, I know if you're not from kind of contracting circles, it is very hard to understand how you, you know somebody can go out and just go and buy, you know, something so big. But I mean, everything sitting in this shed is all bought for the purpose of doing a job. Um, you know, it's you don't just get up one morning and decide right I'm going to go out and buy a harvester. Um, they're all really big, big decisions. Um, they all have to be sensible decisions whenever you're making that type of investment. So you're probably wondering why we made the decision to change the 630, which is obviously the newer harvester than the 700. So we have a we have got an adapter kit for the front of the 700. So it means then that she can still operate the, the headers as well. So. Um, whereas the 630 didn't have that. I remember when the 630 came, we were like, the first, uh, she was delivered to the field, straight to the field. Um, Cowans had the dealership for her crone in Northern Ireland then at that stage. Uh, everything just seemed ginormous. We, like I remember being um, an escort for them on the way home that day uh, because we just thought these things were monsters on the roads. Definitely enjoyed uh, finding out what everyone thought we'd done um, but yeah that's the story anyway so I'm gonna go back to the yard here and see what's happening um, if you may have noticed I didn't mention much about any slurry kit in the last video that's because it's all at home so whenever everybody comes back to work after Christmas um, that starts the servicing and just the fixing and everything getting everything ready to go for slurry so we are in our closed period here at the minute in Northern Ireland um, from the 15th of October right through to the 31st of January we are not allowed to spread a drop of slurry on the fields um, so it's just a case now in January getting everything ready um, everything grazed up everything fixed up anything new that needs to be done um, and getting everything sorted out and ready to rock on the 1st of February because there usually is quite a big push just that sort of first wee stretch so I'll go home and show you the crack there and yeah probably the next time you see all this stuff it will be in a field 
So I've just um, swung into uh, one of the yards that we have got our silage stored down here just for the AD plant. So um, they've actually just landed here to start following a trailer to bring it home just for feeding for tomorrow. Um, so that's the second cotton silage that uh, was cut from a 300 acre block of ground that we rent. So there's about 1500 tonne in here um, and this is all second cut silage so yep that's what we just bring home then just for the 80 plants. So this is just the ration that we're feeding her at the minute so if you've watched all the other videos I would have chatted to you about all that before so um yep. Whoa. You see it's so windy today oh my god like it is actually that would cut you in two it's freezing that would skin you there you are there's a good County Antrim uh, term of phrase there. Yeah, so uh, that's how we keep our 435s busy during the winter time. So, oh, it's starting to rain. Um, so one of them is over here. Um, and we'll be just loading silage every day. And then the other one is at the AD plant. And then she's one that's obviously feeding every day. So, um, yep, just all, I suppose, under your contract. And that's about how you keep, uh, how you keep a vehicle paying for itself and how you keep them all all going we're all about keeping the wheels turning around here so back home now and we'll see what's going on there As you can see, all our slurry kit is sitting here, um, just ready to get hooked on and ready to get going. Um, the tankers are still shifting away almost every day, so they are. So, yep, still, still planning going on. So just everything else that's going on at the yard, uh, there is um, Johnny and uh, <laughs> Joanne, who's married to Johnny, has pedigree dorsets. Um, so this polytunnel is obviously growing up uh, to act uh, as shelter for them. Um, so yeah, it looks like a very good job. Johnny's absolutely delighted, as you can tell. the current current situation thanks for watching sorry for keeping you in suspense so much about the 888 so i'm going to finish off the video i'm going to try and find some footage of the 630 um just over the years uh and just finish it off like that because she really was a great wee harvester we were we will miss her we will see you again very very soon and uh we will keep you updated already take care